Hey guys, Ramesh here. Welcome back to React Hooks Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Series. In previous video, we have added header and footer to our React application. In this video, we are going to configure routing in our React application. Well, let's head over to Visual Studio Code ID and go to Terminal. And first, we are going to install React Router DOM library. Just type the command npm install followed by name of the library that is React router dom open up and save and hit enter uh, this will take a couple of seconds and there we go well let's go to package.json and let's verify whether it is added or not yeah there we go react router dom is successfully added in a package.json now we are good to use this library go to app.js file and here we need to configure routing because app component is root component and uh, we need to configure routing in a root component okay go at the top and here we are going to import few react elements from react router dom library react router dom and let's import few of the elements here within a curly braces browser router as a router let's give alias here and we are going to use route after that we also use switch okay so make sure that you import browser router browser router route switch at a top before using them all right now go to div here and browser router should be at a top in hierarchy so here we are going to use browser router so we have a router as alias to browser router so we can use router over here and just close this router after putter component perfect now after header component we are going to create one div with a css class as a container okay and just go ahead and close this div before putter component all right now within a div what we'll do we'll add a switch switch element so basically this switch element uh, you know ensures that only one component will be rendered at a time okay and then we're going to use a route here to configure a route for component okay so basically route provides a path attribute to add a path over here just view path as slash and then it also provides a component we can configure corresponding component using component attribute so within a curly basis just uh, you know just import list employee component okay so whenever we hit a link in a browser something like localhost colon 3000 slash then this component will be rendered okay so similarly let me copy this and let me configure one more route something like slash employee so whenever we hit a link in a browser something like this this component will be rendered okay pretty simple guys okay let me remove this all right we have configured two routes in a switch and here you can see list employee component so get rid of this lineup code we are not using that anymore because we have already added a route for it okay now you can save the file and go to node terminal over here there is no compilation error let's go back to chrome browser and let's refresh and there we go okay and uh, here i want to enter slash yeah routing is working for slash and here i want to enter employees hit enter and there we go okay slash employees employees route also working and one more important here is we need to add exact param here okay otherwise switch uh, will you know route i mean switch will render all the components we need to map exact exact url for that we need exact here okay that's it let me go back to the browser and there we go let me test for slash yeah we have successfully configured routing in our react application 
so let me recap what we have done we have installed a react uh, you know router dom library and we have used browser router route switch elements from react router dom to configure routing in our react application